welcome back everybody. Just getting started on another tiny driftwood project. In the past years, I've been making a lot of little tiny mini encaustic wax paintings and they've been very successful. I've sold many of them and donated many for um, various fundraising uh, initiatives in the area. And when I had completed all the little paintings, I needed little easels to put them on. And I came up with the idea of making them out of driftwood. That's my Prince Charming, by the way. So here's one without a painting on it. And then sometimes I make them as a little stand like this. So it's got three legs and the cross piece for the little painting to sit on it. This one is not an encaustic painting. And so I'm going to do a little tutorial today. Went for a walk on the beach, have this mountain of driftwood, gonna select a bunch of pieces and put these little easels. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start by collecting a couple pieces in a similar height. I also like to choose a similar thickness, so I guess we need to do some sorting. There's some tiny pieces that will work well for the uh, cross piece, the base that's going to hold the painting. And there's two that are about the same. Here's two that are about the same, so these two might work well together. It's a little bit fat to go with there. I think we've got, let's see, two, four, six, eight, oh, ten little easels set up. I'm going to start the one, the one here closest to me. And so I do like to line up the two bottom pieces. And I'm just going to put little dabs of glue to hold them in place, not adding any twine just yet, but this also helps strengthen them and uh, keep them together. I've laid the, uh, the cross pieces on and um, just kind of letting them roll into position wherever they're most comfortable. And after these are all dry, then we will put the twine, which will help stabilize and wraps it all together nicely so that they are very strong. Now on a couple of the easels, this one here and this one here, I've selected a third leg. So I am going to make them potentially stand up easels and just making sure that your cross piece is low enough and I'm estimating here that there's going to be a little two inch painting here. And now I'm just going to fiddle with this other leg here. This one is one of the ones that I'm making in a stand up easel. And you just want to make sure that this one, is, the front is leaning back a little bit when it is standing. So you can add your dab of glue on there and fix that last that leg in behind and just kind of play with it a little bit. See where it likes to go naturally, but you do want it on a bit of an angle. And then that can dry. I do pull all these little hairs off because they bother me. So I will clean that up at the end after we put the twine on and they're all done. So that looks like it's standing.
glue is nice and dry, holding the uh, driftwood in place. And I've got a few different kinds, like a jute twine and this light color. I have some scraps of darker one that probably came with a gift or a wrapping from a store. And then I love to use this hemp. Uh, you can get it in all colors. It's quite thin. So depending on the easel and the color of the wood itself will, um, will help me choose which one is right for that project. So for this one here, I've got this scrap piece that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut a loop and fix that. And just making sure that you apply it in the back side. Oh, and some more glue here. So I'm just going to apply some glue, a dab of glue, and then press that into there and hold that. And that will be the loop so that we can then later hang that on the hook. And now I'm just going to put some glue all around here and then work very quickly before that has a chance to dry, starting in the back with the end and then winding that around and around as neat as you can. And oh, perfect. I don't even have to cut this one. It just ends in the back. Remembering to be careful because the hot glue gun uh, definitely can burn your fingers. Done it many times. You could use a utensil of some kind to hold that down if you want. And there you have it, the twine with the um, loop. And now what I will also do, this is the front side. I will reinforce the back side here where the driftwood matches the cross piece just to give it some extra strength. And the other thing that will strengthen it is when we actually put the little canvas in place here. You can see with these ones here that the canvas is glued in place and that also helps it uh, become very sturdy and hold everything together into one piece. And now I'm just gonna continue with the other one. My little easels have been assembled. They are ready for their little encaustic wax paintings. There is the two stand-up ones. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like my video and subscribe. I will try and link the little mini encaustic wax painting video below as well when it is completed. You can post any questions that you have down below and I'd be happy to help you with your little driftwood easels. See you again soon.